is up everybody welcome back to the channel guys we are uh taking a little road trip today there's a couple of things we got to do one we've got to drop uh lee's transmission off at winger performance to be upgraded and number two i'm gonna look at a car uh it's a pretty good deal looks like a pretty clean car yeah so let's go Quick, uh, quick pit stop. Checking over everything. Gonna grab some snacks and stuff. Turpsky noises. Got the transmission here, and uh, got the Mac Daddy trailer. Here's the deal, guys. We're hoping, we're hoping we may come home with a car today. I'm gonna show you this car real quick. Jump back in the truck here. But we're just looking at the pictures. see the car so it's got the original 10 holes on it and you look at this one looks like it may be a non-air car factory non-ac car so who knows so that is the deal guys this is the car we're going to check out it looks completely original and uh still got the 10 holes on it um we just looked at the pictures it's still got the smog pump on it so this is the way to buy a car guys and i'm telling you this is one of those deals where you just gotta kind of keep your eyes open and keep looking and these cars are out there i'm telling you but you gotta be patient and you gotta have cash on hand because they'll pop up when you least expect it and if you don't have any money then you're out of luck so we're driving up to uh murray i think it's murray kentucky this is where we're headed says we'll bit get there about 1002 so fingers crossed guys this is a nice car because i think it's going to be nice one mile turn left on kentucky 121 all right boys we have arrived in murray kentucky and it says we're like seven miles all right kind of excited this should be a pretty nice little car what do you think I think it's gonna be nice. Yeah, I am too. Consciously optimistic. The only thing is, is the guy's just gonna see the trailer and know we're serious, and so it's gonna be tough, uh, tough negotiating. I've already worked on way down. Oh, did it? Yeah, okay, that's good. Good to go, man. Look forward to seeing this car. What better thing to do on a on a cold and gloomy day than go look at box bodies? been a while, huh? Yeah, we haven't, we haven't done this in a while. We're going to do this more. original wheels that kind of sucks but I don't see any rust man it's got the original radio in it no AC car man show sure enough this is a factory non air car non cruise control car original radio in it it doesn't even have power locks dude Pretty plain thing. <laughs> doors are clean on the bottom Man, this thing is original. Well, looks like it may have had a door. I like white paint under this door. I guess. I don't know. Hard to say. Yeah. Yeah, probably 
so, yeah. Looks like it may have had a door at some point. Not a not a big deal, but tires are done. Woo! Done. Yeah, this is factory non-air car, y'all. This is pretty wild. Look at that. It's still looks that's the original. Cover. Possibly the original alternator. It's got the original cover on it, which you don't see. Like Man. Coil cover. Yeah, you can see guys right there where the condenser would go through. Or the dryer would go through. Look, it's Airbox, still got the silencer. It's still got date coated wires on it. Yeah. Monocraft wires. Wow. You don't see this. So that I can see the Ventag over there. Ventag right there. Ventag on the hood. Ventag on the bumper cover. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's in good shape. Look, it's even got. I guess that's a. No, that's the. Uh, they replaced the a, uh, H pipe. That was one of the recalls I had back in the day. Got the sticker on there. Man, this thing is untouched. Plug wires have never been off the car. This is awesome. All right, so. I don't know. Maybe this door is original. I don't know. Yeah, okay, there it is. Yeah, you can see it's white. We need a door panel there. Not a big deal. Well, look, guys, no crews. Original radio, stock shifter. Damn. You do not find them like this. The quarter glasses aren't awful. I mean, they're they're about typical. This is awesome. Pretty much like zero options, huh? Yeah, there's no options. No power, anything. Yeah. It doesn't even have power mirrors, y'all. Look at this. No power mirrors. Complete zero option car. Still got all the original lights. This is crazy. I love it. All right, guys. If you want a quick lesson on knowing if a car is really original, here's a couple things to look for. These plug wires, obviously date coded, but they got all the plastic little factory retainers that they come with. The factory engine is what they move the engine around with at the factory with. It's got those. The distributor boot. It's got this little thing, this little decorative thing on the intake. That's still there. This little shroud on the uh, on the alternator. I mean, yeah. Hold on. Air silencer. Boom. Air silencer is in it, dude. I've seen it. <laughs> I mean, everything, y'all. And of course, all the smog still there. Smog pump is not bypassed. Looks like the hoses are still date coded too. Yeah, this thing is untouched. Again, it's not perfect. You see this dent? I don't know what it would take to get that out, but tires are dry rotted. They've been on there forever, but man, this is how to buy them right here. All right, guys, we're just waiting on the. Uh, owner to show up but factory no option car all original 89 no 88 excuse me 88 88 model lx this is crazy excited to see how she sounds make sure she moves around and all that tires are complete junk but i mean who cares yeah <laughs> who cares See what we can do. Well, you know what? I saw this. I just saw this. Damn. I didn't. I, I was looking at that. I didn't even notice that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. Not a deal breaker, I don't think. But it's that kind of sucks. That's gonna be a little bit. Yeah, that's gonna be tough to fix. All right, boys. It's just like. 28 degrees out here. I think we're gonna sit in the truck and wait on him. 
Uh. All right, guys. So, nice. yeah, that's much better. Ooh. So, you could kind of see the dents in the pictures, but they weren't like. You never know till you go. Close yeah, you never know till you go, and it's it's kind of the hatch is like pushed over a little bit. So. I don't know, it looks like it took a pretty good lick in the side there. I was wondering. I don't think it took a hard leap, but it don't take much of a leap for a fox body. Right, yeah, know. without, you know, these unibody cars with no subframe connectors. I mean, the way the hatch is tweaked, it's hard to say. Obviously, we're not body men, but other than that, this car would be... Awesome. Ugh, yeah. It's so freaking original, no option. It's, you know, the colors are awesome. I don't know. We'll just sit here and try to keep warm until he gets here. How'd y'all end up with this car? Huh? Come out of the garage. They said they've been sitting 15 years now. I don't. I don't know. It looks like it has. <laughs> it came from old man in Nashville. Died. It's sitting in the building 15 years. And I got it. I've had it. For Exhaust is stock. Wow. sounding like this. What? It needs some exhaust on it or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's got all the original keys, looks like, too, doesn't it? Yeah, a bunch of them. <laughs> cargo cover <clears throat> I don't think that spare has ever touched the ground has it well jack's been used yeah yeah I wonder what it take to get that it looks a little yeah that hinge is tweaked something yeah yep so yeah, it's cocked that way and the other one's straight. Yeah. There was a notepad in here. I don't remember where it was and it had all of the all the rule changes and stuff. Oh, no kidding. Like I maintenance know, records I don't and stuff. Know if I, have it, you know, I really don't. I remember seeing there was a little green notepad somewhere. Huh, okay, cool. Yes. Definitely. Like well, I can't I can't move my head. Uh oh. so he wasn't gonna budge. No. Oh well. There's a little more than I want to give. Okay, right, so so he had it listed at three, and he didn't really even want to talk any as far as dropping it, I guess. I mean, it might be worth it. See, that's the thing. It's it's with it being a quarter. I mean, there's no telling what it's going to take to get that car fixed, and you're not going to really. I mean, I guess a man could drive the car, but yeah, we, 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 we won't care. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, unfortunately. But at you know I would I would have given him two thousand for it all day long. Yeah, that's what I was like. Yeah. I mean that yeah that's kind of I think we both kind of had that number in our head. But you know if it was a fender wouldn't even been of an issue. But when you're talking quarter y'all, that's gonna be a rough one to do. So unfortunately boys, we're gonna say goodbye to the the little eighty eight. Hopefully it goes to a good home and doesn't get butchered. All right, boys, so there you have it. We are uh, headed back, and we're carless. But... It's not always bad. <laughs> it's not always bad, no. Still got the money, you know. It's like, uh, and I'm telling you guys, we talked about it over lunch. We talked about it the whole way. It's like, should we have gone ahead and bought the car? And the answer clearly was no. It just, there was too much. The car was going to need. 
there was too many unknowns. We couldn't even drive it, you know, and then you know, replacing that quarter, doing it right, would have been expensive. I know you could probably slap something together, but it wouldn't really operate that way. So to do a quarter right without having a body guy there, we're assuming the quarter would have had to replace, which would have been very expensive. And then you gotta paint the car, and on and on and on. So, oh well, nice car, super nice guys. Uh, just wasn't meant to be. It. Just wasn't meant to be. So, we will keep hunting. Not that we need to be hunting. There's yeah. plenty out there. You can see it on Craigslist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll be on Craigslist, I'm sure. Feel free to feel free to snatch it up. But that is what is up, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, big thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. And we got lots of work to do, so we'll be back with lots of stuff. Yeah. Later.